I'm going to show you how to use the returns management module in Dynamics GP to create a cross-ship return. What a cross-ship return is, is when you're going to send out a replacement good to your customer in advance of receiving the defective part back. So the tricky part is to make sure that if you send something out that you do get the return item back and if you do get the return item back you want to credit that customer for that advanced shipment. So let's take a look at the steps. There are basically four things we're going to do. We're going to create an RMA we're going to send out the replacement item to the customer in advance. We're going to receive the defective item back in. And then we want to turn around and credit, create a credit memo for that replacement item that we sent out earlier. Let's take a look at how we would do that. The first thing I'm going to do is create an RMA. Here's the RMA window. I'm going to create a new one. And the type is going to be a cross-ship type. It's been set up for me already. And I'm going to set, select a reason code here look up a customer and then I'm going to select from an invoice that we sent out to the customer in the past and find the item there. Let's go down to the bottom here and I'm going to select one of these items off this particular invoice and the customer is telling me that he's going to send this one back that's the defective one so I'm going to say OK so that's the first step. We created an RMA. Now, let's take a look at the form view of this. And what we want to do is go down to this customer path, cross ship. And we're going to send out a replacement item before we get the return item back. So let's hit the cross ship. The system is automatically going to create an order to send that replacement item back out. So that's the second step. The next step is that sometime later, the customer is going to send us the defective item back. We want to replace that or we want to return that into our system. So let's do that. We're going to receive that RMA and we're going to post that and print a traveler. Let's do that. Let's take a look at that traveler. This is the standard traveler that comes with the system. You can attach this to the item when it comes back in. So now the item has been returned. It gets returned to the RMA and we haven't disposed of it yet so that's really the next step. Let's go into that RMA again. and We can see that the RMA has been received. That means the items have been received on it. Let's look at the form view again. And the credit document has been created already. And again, this is the credit document that's going to be applied against that replacement item we sent out earlier. And then the next step is really, we've got that item in, what are we going to do with it? There's a couple possibilities. If you're using depot management, you can create a work order, refurb it, or you can return it to the vendor. But all I'm going to do is return it back to stock. Just hit return stock, and now I'm done with it. That order is done, the RMA is done, so the next step is to say ready close. I'm going to close out that RMA and I am done. So the steps I took was I created an RMA, I sent out the replace item in advance, I received the return item from the customer, and I turned around and I created a credit memo for that replacement item sent out earlier. And that's the steps to create a cross-ship return in returns management in Dynamics GP.